Hello everyone, welcome to a video that you will soon find out needs a new title. Yes, I'm keeping the title as USB-C versus Thunderbolt 3 because that seems to be what people are confused about. But the truth is USB-C is a physical standard while Thunderbolt 3 is a data standard. The crazy part is Thunderbolt 3 actually uses USB-C. How confusing is that? Well, not for long, hopefully, once we are done with this video. First and foremost, the title USB-C does not tell us anything about the speeds. Some USB-C ports can run as slow as 480 megabits per second, which is a USB 2.0 speed, while others can run all the way up to 10 gigabits per second, which is a USB 3.1 speed. But it all depends on what data transfer method they utilize. This C title only indicates the physical connector type that can be plugged in either way, unlike USB-A or B, which both have pins on one side, so they can only be plugged in one way. Typically, you'll find most Type-C connectors run on USB 3.0 or 3.1 standard, which can pump out 5 gigabits per second or 10 gigabits per second, respectively. Side note, the entire naming structure has changed, so they're no longer calling it USB 3, 3.1, and 3.2, but now all USB 3.2, and they are Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 2 times 2. For this video though, we will be keeping the old naming scheme just so we don't go crazy. But here comes Intel with its Thunderbolt technology. This is an entirely different chip that processes the data. So the real question should be USB 3.1 versus Thunderbolt 3. Now before we dive into the specs and finish this video out, note there is USB 3.2, which is the newest standard, but not many devices even use it yet, and all it is is two lanes of USB 3.1, so it doubles the speed. Otherwise, it is identical to 3.1. So, back to 3.1 versus Thunderbolt 3. Here are the stats. USB 3.1, speeds up to 10 gigabits per second, power delivery 100 watts, display port over USB-C. And if you go over to Thunderbolt 3, we have all those USB 3.1 features and cross support for them, but we are running at 40 gigabits per second speed. We have daisy chaining up to six devices. We have Thunderbolt networking, 10 gigabit ethernet connections. We also have external graphics card support and a massive support of docks, which can use one cable to both charge, support displays, and data transfers all at once. And this is where the true key lies with Thunderbolt 3. This is designed by Intel to be the one and all cable you will ever need. And that is the main difference between Thunderbolt 3 and USB 3.1, even though you didn't know that was what this video was going to be about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any other questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. I always get to my newest video comments first, so even if it's not something related to this subject, go ahead and post it down there. Also, if you have any video suggestions, if you want me to make something about something you're confused about, uh, please leave that down there as well. I love looking through those to make more ideas for me, for more video and more content for you. Otherwise, if you like this, please subscribe, please click a like on that video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.